Yeah. Coach, uh, spring football 2016, just talk about what you've seen from the team. Well, we've got a bunch of guys missing. The baseball team is playing for the state title tonight. So uh, we don't have four or five of those guys. Really. We've got four or five guys that have been injured, ACLs, MCLs, they're not with us this spring. The guys that we've got out there, which is a lot of young guys, they've worked hard, trying hard, and we have, it's, just been, it's just been fun. It's been a little frustrating not having any more experience out there than we do. But uh, I still enjoy doing it, enjoy being with the guys, and, and they've worked hard. Coach, you've got uh, a big-time quarterback come back, uh, Jones. Good player, yes. Just uh, talk about what you've seen from him in the spring and what are you looking for, it, for it towards him you know, in the fall. Well, you know, he's – I've seen him play since he's about eight years old. I have a, I have a grandson on this team also, and uh, they played on the same teams coming up. So I saw him play as a youngster coming up. I've seen him improve every year. I've seen him mature every year. And uh, I think he's just – I think his best days are ahead of him. Physically, he's just starting to come into his own. Uh, he, he's, he's gained four, five, six inches in the last two years. His, uh, his dad's about six five, so I think he's going to get that eventually. But right now he's uh, he's kind of thin, and everybody's turning. He can throw the ball, and we're proud of him. We look for him to have a good ball for us also. Coach, you know, running the ball is a staple for the Bulls offense. Just talk about your running game and your uh, backs that are you leading the running game this year. So well, our, our backs are coming back. All three started last year. So uh, we we feel great about them. The problem is the offensive line tonight. We're starting sophomore, sophomore, one senior, sophomore, freshman, sophomore. So uh, some of these guys that are injured will, will come back. But as far as our learning the football, it's going to be tougher tonight with our young guys in there. Even though the backs are experienced and have been there, and we look for that to be kind of a strong suit for us once a year. Your uh, defense has always been strong over the years. Just uh, talk about your uh, defensive leaders you know, uh, coming into the spring. Well, obviously, uh, we have a defensive back of Mon Ross, who's been a star forward since he's been here. And uh, a really good football player. Uh, we've, got, we've got a bunch of guys that people don't know much about. We also have people on defense. And we're not very big, but they play hard. We've got a guy, Justin Mitchell, as a defensive end, a good, very good, solid player for us. Uh, we've got a linebacker, Force Andrews, that's a very solid player. Now, we're hurting size wise. We're, we're just very small on both sides of the ball right now. But uh, uh, hopefully, when we get these guys back, we'll get a little better. Coach, last question. Um, Tell you Florida legislature passed the bill that allows players to, uh, you know, uh, cross over their district lines right. and uh, play. Just talk about what's your feeling on the passing of the bill, and how do you feel that it may, you know, affect the program here? Well, I don't think it affects us very much here. But a lot of people forget I was in the public school system for 20 years, so uh, I know both sides of the school. The thing that. Uh, there's been ways for so long for people to go where they wanted to. They're just now okay in now. Guys have always gone where they wanted to. They, they had somewhere to get there. Grandma went there somehow. He stayed at me and Kate's house and did something. So it, it, I don't think it changes much. It just okays it now. But so I don't see it being a big difference. So people, if you have a successful program uh, right now, Range is doing a good job. So uh, even though they want to come here, they still got to qualify academically. It's a little tough, but then they lost. So uh, we run into that problem quite a bit. But uh, I don't think it's going to change as much as people think. Coach Rogers, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. See you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.